listen, at this point I'm really just digging at the bottom of the barrel. Hey guys, welcome back to General Rule 16, I am your host Javon, and today we have a brand new benchmark. It's Spongebob, Plankton's Robotic Revenge for the Xbox 360. That's right, today we're testing out the Xenia emulator once again on my Intel Core i7-4790 with the AMD RX 574GB VRAM graphics card. Now you're probably asking yourself, Javon, why the hell are you even playing this game? Well hey, it's an Xbox 360 game. And therefore, here I am. <laughs> that's all I that's all I can say to that, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys. I took one for the team just to put this out for you real quick, real quick. You know, watch me, watch me do it real quick. Now, to be fair, this is not on PC, but it is on basically every other console out there. You could play it on basically everything else, but let's go to the Xbox 360. I actually did this uh, did a video for this on my DS. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. The frame piercing seems ridiculous. We are doing the 60 FPS, and it does seem to run at the 60 FPS. I mean, I didn't expect it to be demanding. It's not even hitting me with any. It's not even compiling anything. It's just playing through the game, which is quite interesting. But hey, I once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. Because I'm doing this video, I'm actually doing a bunch of videos, so that's why I didn't really worry about doing this one. There'll be a bunch of videos coming out after this, so <laughs> it's not like I'm leaving just one video of Spongebob and then moving on with my life. I also do RPCS Street, Yuzu, and here we are with Xenia. I also do lower end systems as well to show you guys how to run games on lower end CPUs and GPUs. And yeah, um, because this is Spongebob, there's not much else to talk about. The game seems to run, but I will get into some gameplay now to see what happens. And yeah, I'm just going to mute myself. I'll see you guys next time. You see why it's a good thing not to just talk so fast, dude? Like, what the heck? You see why it's a good thing? The cutscene played fine, and then I got into the game, and then disaster struck. What is this? What is what is what is this? What what is this? As you can see, SpongeBob P Plankton's Robotic Revenge is having a bit of issues with graphics. Press the jump button to jump. I seem to be missing some textures in the damn game. Which I didn't notice. I don't know what's me jumping from me. What, what's like a crevice for me to fall into? I don't know. It is interesting though. You don't get much of these glitches very much or very often. So it is, it's still interesting for me to see stuff like this. It actually gave me something to talk about now. <laughs> I was really just hoping that this one would have just been a, a simple game. You know, it runs fine. So apparently SpongeBob did not think want it to be that way. Oh, but like, nah, bro. You gonna suffer from this game talking crap about my game? It is running well, but clearly there's there's we, we have some issues with you know the floors being gone and stuff like that. That's not great. I feel like to be fair though, it's more playable than Ben 10 was. It is more playable than Ben 10. Because maybe they have some rare, weird flickering. This is how missing textures, which I mean can take you out of the game, but that depends on how bad you want to play the game, right? I mean, do you how bad do you want to play SpongeBob Plankton's Robotic Revenge? I'm not. I'm guessing not very much. You know, I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is a hard pass for everyone. <laughs> but maybe there's some kid watching. Hey guys, you can play SpongeBob Plankton's Bo Robotic Revenge. It runs. You collected to purchase and upgrade gizmos. What kind of gizmos? Maybe maybe if I come back from here now it'll actually run. You know? There's always that chance. Did it fix the stuff? I actually can't tell. Holy crap, did it fix the things? It it it, it did. It did it. It did! Oh my gosh! It actually fixed it! That's crazy! It actually fixed it! Up, 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 up. I, I stand corrected. <laughs> I stand corrected. I stand corrected, guys. Never mind. I stand corrected. I stand very, very corrected. It's like, did it fix it? Or was it just that area? That's interesting. I don't know, man. I haven't played over there in a while. Okay, so it's just, it's, it was just. So that's interesting. So maybe it's just that area that has the graphical issues because. I don't see any issues here. I kind of already did, though. 
Seriously, you're saying you're saying I have to go and buy it again? But I already bought it. That means I have to go and actually get those things. Oh, I still got it back. You still gave me it. You have unlocked the pickle blaster. Use the gizmo activation button to shoot. What's the gizmo? Get your shots on a single target for a big damage boost. What's what's the what's the button? Okay, okay, I got it. I feel like I pressed that before and it didn't respond to me, but okay, that was cool. Ooh, I feel tingly. I mean, here in this area, it still has a lot of the graphical issues. The, the, the floorboards here are down, but for the most part, Everything else seems to be here. Like, look at it. Everything, even in the background, I can see the stuff that looks there. How interesting. Why some areas have different textures? That's interesting. It's like, bro, I don't know what I even I want to do with this game. I don't know. Some textures work, some don't. This area looks fine. The frame pacing still looks crazy. Buzzbob, you showing some hands. You know, I would still call this a playable experience. Even though, because I've gone over that area and I really, it's less so. I feel like there was, oh my gosh. There was a level where, there was a dark level where you're on a platform. That level probably going to be a nightmare actually. I don't know about that. Because it's a dark level, so I feel like a lot of stuff probably would be missing. The game runs, guys. I can't believe it's not butter. Type stuff. Wait, you took some wrist slaps and survived it and just came back like, what's good, bro? That, that is so scary. I don't know if I'm falling or not. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I'm jumping at like. Am I going to die here? Is this where my life ends? I don't know. I'm not sure. It may be. Oh snap, that's a lot. Anyway, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Part. Please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and stick around for more epic content. On to better games. To do some tests on I'll see you guys next time as soon as I get rid of everything here what the heck is this thing even to begin with what about that one boom